Disney's Yacht Club Resort is one of my favorite places to stay at Walt Disney World. It is situated in a great location right on Crescent Lake and on Disney's Boardwalk. Plus, it is walking distance to Epcot and very close to Hollywood Studios. It also features one of the Disney Resort's best pools, Storm Along Bay. It also has a lot of great restaurants right on site. So today we are going to take a room tour of a water view room. This particular room features two queen size beds as well as what Disney calls a day bed, which is basically a small sleeper sofa. So let's go have a look. We are currently at the Yacht Club Resort and I just wanted to show you this room and show you some of the amenities and some of the differences in this particular resort, which is a deluxe resort versus some of the other resorts. So first of all, when you walk in, you have this Keurig station. Um, I know that in some of the other, the value hotels, um, there isn't a coffee maker, but this is a fully equipped Keurig. It comes with both coffee and tea, as well as creamers. There are cups, disposable to go cups, as well as coffee mugs. You have your ice bucket. And then also below, there is the fridge, which is a really nice mini fridge. It's, it's quite cool. We've already stocked it with some waters, but there's a nice and a really good size mini fridge here. There's also a little drawer here that can be used for storage. Then as you come on in, you have the bathroom and I really love this door. This is a really nice sturdy sliding door. Then you have your H2O bath products and this is something that is different for the deluxe resorts. Here I see body lotion, some cooling aloe gel, mouthwash, a vanity kit and a shower cap. But then also in the shower are your toiletries. So you have your soap, your conditioner, your body wash, and your shampoo. So if we are walking on out, you have a closet. There is, there is a lot of storage space here. And then you have another section here. Then in this area, you have a, a table ironing board, a safe and an iron and some more storage. As we get into the room, this particular one is two queens. And what I really like about these beds is that you can store your luggage under the beds. There's adequate room under these beds. They're actually quite tall and you can see that we have two carry-ons under there right now and they fit nicely. There's a nice large TV and then here you have your outlets and you have USBs as well. There's extra pillows and blankets already here in the room. And then you have a couch. Now in this particular room, this is a sleeper sofa couch. It's quite large. I would imagine when you pull it out, there's not going to be a lot of room between bed and the couch, but nevertheless, that could sleep an additional person in here. So in this room, if you have um, two people in each of the beds and then an additional person, you could sleep five in this room. The flooring in here is also really nice. Um, these rooms underwent a recent remodel and I think that they did a really great job at keeping them clean and contemporary, but still remaining within the Yacht Club theme. Now, something else that I really love about this room is that it has a balcony. There are two chairs and a table out there. And this particular room is a water view. So we have this gorgeous view of the water and of the boardwalk. There are boats going out right now. You can actually rent those boats. There are little jet skis and then the boardwalk is just right there 
where you have all of the uh, restaurants and shops over in that area. That's just some walking distance. And even from here, as a matter of fact, I can see the Eiffel Tower from Epcot. So Epcot is just walking distance as well from this hotel. You just walk right through the boardwalk and you can be there in, in 10 or 15 minutes or so walking. So the location really is a wonderful location. And I'm really, I'm really impressed with the room as well. I hope that this room tour was helpful for you for your planning of your next Disney World vacation. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot. And also check out the Life in Orlando podcast where Ron and I are taking you through all kinds of great things to do and information around Orlando, the theme parks, and the Florida beaches. Thanks so much everyone and I hope that you have a great day. Oh,